Okay. I mean, folks like Jay Z and A Z, man. I mean, you got those people that respect your mind as well. So I mean, do or die. Can you speak on that? All right. So um, Lindsey Williams, was the, he was. I think it was the president of a and or whatever he was the one that really put that together mm. he, he called me he said man i got an artist out here and uh, actually guru rest in peace guru yeah you know guru was like you know because i did uh az and bahamadia mm. and i was on guru's label yeah, yeah. right uh well uh, bahamadia was on guru's label mm -hmm. um and uh so you know uh i sent them out a track mm. and uh so you know Lindsay was like, man, you know, I, you know, I, man, I need you to come out here, whatever, right? And I knew, like, you know, and and like, you know, it was a, with the South and in in the East, mm -hmm. you know, they really didn't really respect us like that mm -hmm. at that time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, even though I came up on the East Coast, yeah, but nobody really knew. That, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but you know, get there, man, and uh, you know. AZ, I don't think he really wanted to do the song. Oh, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. I was like, "It's like, hey man, can can you give us a can you give us a second? I was like, I went shopping, <laughs> you know, so I went shopping and came back, and uh, you know, AZ was like, you know, hey man, I got something to it, right? Yeah. And uh, so man, AZ, he, he spit what he had to it. He was like, what you you know what you hear on the hook? Mm -hmm. I said, man, you know, some old school stuff like you know, like a jungle sometimes. Right, like a jungle sometime. Yeah, and he was like, the weed smokes make me wonder. <laughs> and that was the hook. And that was the hook. And yeah, yeah. together, man. And uh, like he actually played, bro. Like it was crazy. Um, he played the album because you know I'm on there with the greats, Pete yeah. Rock, come and, on, and Easy Mo B, and yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I'm like, man, like I can't believe I'm on this this album. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And like he brought a bunch of people, like you know his, you know partners from the from the hood and everything and they were all listening to the record yeah all the records you know everybody's like you know the the, the pete rock like, oh, oh that's bananas <laughs> bananas so my song came on nobody did anything what it was quiet and i was like oh man I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> i said they don't understand this music yeah. right so one guy said yo son uh Man, the, the Pete Rock joint, man, I like that. This right here, this joint right here, do or die? Yo, son, run that again. Everybody was like, yo, yo, yeah, run that again, man. I was like, we couldn't even say nothing. It was just, yeah. it just touched us, right? And they ran it over and over again, right? It was like, man, who the fuck did that track? Like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, you know, you know, Joe, you know, he did Scarface stuff. Man, my arm almost, my arm almost fell off, and it was, like, oh, oh, son, I feel that, I feel that, son, I feel that. Like, you know what I'm saying, man? But uh, you know, that was that was a good experience, you know, because yeah. I, I I was like, I said, well, damn, you know, they ain't fit, but. You know, the one thing about New Yorkers, man, I don't have no bias on any coach. You know That's what I'm right. saying? And uh, but you know, they just embraced the music. They really didn't. I thought it was something else, but they didn't care. Like it was just like it's good music. Like we 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 love it. And exactly. you know, that became the that became the single. That became the, the title track of the album. Come on, man, that's crazy. <laughs> and I mean, at that time too, it was A Z, Jay Z, and Nas and Big. Yep. You know, it was a real competition at that yep. time. AZ could have easily took that song and been the one. Yep, exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. When you come across people like Jay Z and they respect your mind, I mean, what was that conversation like? Well, I uh, I actually met Jay Z during the time of I think we was doing um, uh, Last of a Dying Breed, mm. and I was actually because that you know like nobody had really seen me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I was back there. I had my headphones on on the MPC. And I had one off. I saw him walk in. There. I said, "Damn, that's Jay Z!" Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he came in there, man, and um, you know, he asked. He was like, he said, "Hey, you know, where's you know Joe, the, the producer, or whatever?" So Face was like, "Hey, he is right there." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, you know, we met, man. It was love, man. He was like, "Man, I'm a big fan of you know your music or whatever." I was like, "Man, I'm a big fan of yours." Come or on, you know what I'm saying? And it was mutual respect, man. And tell until this day, man, when I see him, he's like, "What's up, you know?" Exactly. You know what I'm saying or whatever. So you know, hopefully, we'll get a chance to to Come work on. in the future. Thanks. You know, again or whatever. But uh, like you know, um, that was a, that was a great experience, man. With with Jay Z, man. He he he, very humble dude. Mm -hmm. You know, and 
I had met him prior to that yeah. uh, in Houston. Mm. But, um, you know, it, it just didn't, you know, it just Man, it that, didn't happen. Yeah, you know exactly. Yeah. 